Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, like I mentioned in my last one, I'm gonna do a review of a new pair of Prada sandals that I got. These have been out for a while since last year, but I still was thinking about them. I really wanted them. So when we were in Italy, I checked them out. I was mad at myself because the price there, I remember what they were when they first came out in Canada. I should have got them then because they were much more affordable. So I didn't get them in Italy, but I looked at them because my feet are a bit wide. I just wanted to make sure that they looked okay. And they definitely did. I would say these are wide foot friendly so depending what website you look on these have a different name so on the Prada website right now these are just called their foam rubber sandal some websites call them the monolith rubber sandal so right now these retail on the Prada website for 760 francs um, the franc and euro are similar but I got these for 527 euro off of matchesfashion.com and I've actually never shopped on matches I was under the impression that um, before when I lived in Canada I would have to pay due but I read their fine print and it said I wouldn't have to um, for living in Switzerland and I'm pretty sure that was the same as Canada so just FYI I also emailed them just to double check that and they confirm no additional duties upon delivery so if you are one of those countries definitely check them out so how I got such a good deal was as a first-time customer you get a 15% off code normally those types of codes are not good on luxury brands like Prada but I was surprised I think it worked on pretty much everything on the their whole website so that's what brought the price of these down a lot so I will link a code um, I know when you sign up for an account you can share a code with friends so if you guys are in need of a code I'll leave one down below um, I would definitely though if you're interested in the shoe check matchesfashion.com hopefully these aren't sold out and I'll link a few other sites down below so the box they come in is pretty standard just a nice white box Unfortunately, they don't come with a nice dust bag, which I was a little disappointed about just because for the price of them They could easily put this in they just come with like one of those cheap ones that like Zara shoes come in I mean, that's okay I still keep these to pack with but definitely this type of shoe this rubbery material It can get scuffed up. So it is nice to have something to protect them when you're packing Okay, so let's talk about sizing. So typically I'm always a size 9 us or a 40 euro shoe my foot is slightly wide um which i always say probably if my foot wasn't wide i would probably actually be an eight and a half but i always usually get a size nine or 40. so in this shoe i did read a lot of reviews and i watched a couple of videos on youtube and unfortunately this shoe does not come in half sizes so it's only whole sizes so i did get the 40 or us size nine i would say this shoe runs half a size too big but because I usually take a size nine, I don't feel comfortable going down to a size eight. Definitely though, if I was typically at eight and a half, I would have went down to a size eight in this. So right when I took them out of the box, I did notice that they looked a little bit too big, but they're okay. Just because I feel like, you know, you're probably gonna be wearing these in summertime, your feet might swell a little bit, so it's better to have a little bit of extra room. I would just be much too afraid if I went down to a size eight, they're gonna be too tight for me. Um, even maybe a size eight and a half, if you wanna wear socks, wouldn't work. You can see here the tip of the toe, there's like that much extra room. So like what I said, they do fit a little bit big. They're not too heavy, even though that they look like they might be. This is pretty um, like a light lug sole. The only thing I would be concerned with is because they are a rubbery material and not leather, that when your feet get humid, it might rub. I haven't experienced humid weather yet. So far, I've just been wearing these around the apartment. I just put on some socks just to kind of break them in a bit. I would say when I first put them on, I didn't know about them because I'm like, oh, the rubber feels a little bit stiff, but I just put on thicker socks. And I would say after just a couple hours of wearing them around, they definitely, they gave a little bit. So we'll see how they are out in the real world. I would have much preferred these if they made them in a full leather, but the rubber is okay. I mean, it keeps the price point down a little bit for Prada shoes. They're still not cheap or anything like that. Um, I would say here, I have to tighten them pretty tight. Um, the only thing I will mention is, it's gonna be too hard to see, but right under here, I feel like this part might do a little bit of rubbing as well. So 
I'm just maybe a little worried about these. I just wanted another pair of shoes if say like we're on holiday and you wanna go out for dinner or something like that and you don't wanna wear heels but you wanna dress up a little bit. I feel like this is suitable for a lot of summery places. And these, I actually think they look really good with socks so you could wear them definitely into the fall. And now that we've moved here to Geneva, even the whole winter, there was like no snow here. So I feel like even with a thick sock, you could wear these all year round here, definitely if you're in a climate like that. Um, so you can get a bit of wear out of them. So overall, they're super cute. Um, so far, I would recommend them. I can't give feedback in humid weather yet, but this is more a size guide reference. So just keep in mind, they run half a size large, but they only come in full sizes. So depending what you are, you might have to go up or down. The good thing is though, even if they are a little bit big on you, like they are on my feet, because your ankle is strapped in here, they're not gonna fall off. It's not like it's a backless shoe or anything like that. Um, so yeah, they're not gonna go anywhere even if they are a little bit too big on you. So I hope that quick little review helped you if you were thinking about purchasing them online and definitely shop through matches if you can because that was the cheapest that I found. Thanks for watching, bye guys.